Welcome back guys to another War of the Visions video. This is gonna be a solid, 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 it's the best, it's the best farming spot actually in the game for later on in the game. And it's gonna allow you to accomplish a lot of story mode stuff as well as getting your hands on the good needed things to awaken your characters. If you saw the top 20 tips, which is a fantastic video, if I may say myself, for War of the Visions, Final Fantasy, Brave, Exvius, then you have already known. You already know where to get the blue memories, the faint blue memories. Now you guys may be working your way towards getting purple memories and where to farm that. As well as that 20 tips video, we talked about the, the values of picking up JP crystals from dead enemies. This is gonna be a fantastic spot to move beyond that, to get good JP from your enemies in a, a wide amount of enemies that you can kill very easily as long as you bring some sort of AOE damage, as well as acquiring those purple orbs on top of a few other things. So this is gonna be actually chapter select, chapter four, the black rose, scene two, good idea. This is gonna be the good idea. So chapter four, scene two, good idea. Now what you're gonna wanna bring is a little bit of AOE damage. So if you've worked on uh, your Yashtola and she has the ability to do her AOE damage attack there. I forget what the name of it is off the top of my head right now. I think it's Foul. Uh, that's gonna be a solid option for you there. Or if you have access to a Medina that you rerolled for. This is going to be a very solid option for you there. Um, for Medina, I value her in slot one, and we'll show why when we go in here, we'll show it. And we'll get in here, we'll show you guys what to do and why it's so good. So let's go in here. I'm going to bring in the first party here. And you can bring whoever you want, some bonus JP, whoever you want you to get JP on. They're going to be picking up the purple crystals that drop from enemies. And uh, always have your character in slot one because it starts them over here. And after this, I'll show you exactly what you need to do. As you can see, there's a multitude of enemies here for you. So we'll be able to take them out, uh, quite a few of them on the first hits there. So you won't have to put the formation thing on every time. That's just for demonstration. You can take formation off, you can put auto on, and you're gonna run up. You're gonna kill all but two of them if you're using Cosmo Plume, that's gonna take them out. Big damage there. And then what you're gonna need to do, you see you have this extra little guy here. What I like to do actually is I just walk over here, this NPC. <laughs> This poor guy and uh, just take him out just take him out smack this guy you know smack him with your other teammates because he's gonna run around and try to kill uh, the final guy that you're trying to keep alive here so if you are using Fina for the cheer spam you can also do this way you're in here to raise your faith a little bit so one two three combination of things you're getting in here you're farming your materials you're farming your job points a bunch of good stuff have your mage come run up and uh, take one more of them out so he's gonna die uh, right around there and he's gonna go down dead on the ground and then what you're gonna do very simple very simple you can box that guy in if you want to but what i do you just spam the weight key spam it spam it spam weight spam weight spam weight wait and sadly until they implement uh something that they probably never implement in the game uh we're gonna have to spam weight i would love for them to just uh turn all bodies into crystals here and no, we're not going to have to do anything crazy like raise the NPC so we don't fail the quest or anything. That NPC can die. If you want to box this NPC in, though, because he is a mage or a, a mage, he's an archer, he's a ranged character, you can do that. You don't have to. But you can do that if you want to uh, because he's a ranger. He won't be able to hit you. So if you're not using a healer or something, you can take your other members and just box him in like this. So he can't move. And because rangers have a dead zone, they can't hit right next to them. And then whatever character, may it be your mage or whoever it is, uh, you just leave your one character out there that's picking up the crystals and you spam way. And if you do box the character in, it's going to prevent the, the enemy that's alive from moving anymore. It's going to leave him alive. Just uh, the, your friend that's dead that you murdered is going to disappear. Sadly, he's gone. Uh, he's, you know, no funeral, nothing of that nature. I said the word funeral and dead in the same sentence. So uh, we're right next to each other. So we're probably demonetized now. So if you guys, you know, want to see more stuff like this, a like, comment, subscribe, all the traditional YouTube jazz. I don't even know. I'm a little bit hyped up on coffee here. Uh, I won't lie. So we're going to go in through here and we're going to be turning these bodies into crystals. Hopefully uh, you get some purple ones, two purples, uh, two purples so far, three purples. Very nice. Three purples. And then one more here. Uh, we're going to get in here. We'll start picking these up we'll pick this one up and you'll see that you get actually some pretty decent JP here. So you're going to get some that bravery, so you can farm bravery this way as well. If you're working on uh, maxing your bravery up, if you have Fina or bring a friend Fina, you can work on uh, leveling your faith up here. And you're going to be getting, as you saw, 24 JP per purple crystal, which is quite a lot, actually. And remember, that you're just uh, this is very energy efficient. You're accomplishing multiple things at the same time. 24 
JP per purple crystal, right? You're uh, also getting the little bit of six extra for doing a normal battle. And you are also able to level your, your bravery on multiple characters, level your faith on multiple characters as well, if that's something that you want to do there. So it's pretty efficient. Um, you can go in here and just uh, finish this boy off. Just finish him off, smack him with something, who knows? Just just let him die. Uh, okay, sharp shot me. What? Wow, nice archer, dude. So you're not going to be able to collect that guy's crystal, obviously, because the quest clears there. But this also drops um, a lot of cool stuff in here. So this is also going to be a good spot where if you don't care about the JP, which you kind of should there, we get a lot of JP, you can farm your purple faint memories here as well. And then we'll go over the rest of what can drop in here. You can farm up some other stuff in here. If you're looking for a particular job, orbs this works here for a couple of the jobs i think there's like a thief a thief's memory purple so you can job break that and there's also a paladin's memory purple if you're working on something like mont or uh idlebert i think idlebert's name and then you also get the fire elk chris if you're working for yashtola there's the kiku ichimanji which i probably butchered uh it's a katana of some sorts if you're working on a katana user and then you also get uh, ninja blades if you're working on uh any of the ninjas in the game or a ninja subclass uh, so that's a thing there and you have the fist as well if you're working on a fist user and you have a couple of crafting items like the blue spirit sand as well as the raging heart so that's a thing you can do there um, if you want to you know formation only light units you can do that if you want if you want to skip ticket it for uh, purple orbs later but there's no reason to skip ticket this with purple orbs um, there you can go in here and it's very easy to farm and if you want to fast farm it as well this is also available to you so if you want to fast farm this like you were farming the uh, blue orb dungeon you are also able to do this what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to put your mage in the second slot so you put her in the second slot especially with someone like medina uh, you'll go in here hit embark and uh it's going to be a wonderful wonderful thing for you if you want to just fast farm this you don't care about picking up job crystals you don't care about the jp um if you just want the materials you want to get in and you want to get it done then you put her in the second slot and she will be able to just move up i don't have the the move plus thing on here i don't believe uh, so she just moves up three spots, drops the Cosmo Plume. Um, I don't know if Yashtola's, uh, what is that skill called? Foul? I don't know if Foul will be able to one-shot everyone there. But this is going to be another very valuable thing that you are able to do here. You want to fast farm it. Just farm up some EXP. Farm up um, not really job points. Remember, you only get six job points across a character there. It's like one job point per energy spent, I do believe. Um, in FFBE War of the Visions. So picking up the job crystals is going to expedite your job point accrual, right? We got three purple crystals last time. That's 24 each. That for the energy to job point conversion is a ton more. And there's also one other thing you're going to be accomplishing right now due to it being April. And if you haven't seen that video, there's a bunch of different missions for you guys to be doing this April. Uh, this is going to be a good spot for you to accomplish one of your missions here. So if we go back to home, if you want to see the other ones, I'll have the link to those two videos for you. The 20 tips video, make sure you check it out. Uh, it's good information in there, a bunch, a bunch of different stuff, whether it's uh, playing the game, cards, how stuff works, all of those things of that nature. And you'll be able to go over here, milestone, monthly story quests. And this is where you're going to be doing a bunch of story quests. So if you're farming, you guys are going to be able to get this done by the end of the month. Um, but, uh, you know, 400 story quests for a bunch of stuff here. This is where a bunch of gil comes from. I think it's just under, I think it was like 19.8 million gil. Or something for doing them all so this is gonna be a place for you to accomplish some goals so you'll be able to uh, do this one pretty easy while working on your character's jobs right 20 tops tips video for the blue as right blue as right this is world of warcraft the blue faded memories this one what we saw in the videos for the purple faded memories very strong job location to farm those job crystals too that's gonna be very nice for you and then you'll be making a bunch of money so you can buy cool stuff in the shop guys so if you want to see more stuff like this go ahead leave a like it does help a ton sorry i'm not on camera it's extremely late right now and i am about to go to bed but i actually just found this area not too long ago and uh, i liked how it worked for multiple avenues so if you want to see more content for war of the visions ffbe other final fantasy games please go ahead hit that subscription button thank you guys so much out there who are a patron and are a youtube channel member you guys are amazing as well as anyone else who is here hanging out having fun in the channel if you want to see stuff live come over twitch.tv slash house links in the description for that as well and until then guys stay safe out there be be safe make smart decisions and i'll see you in the next one take care guys